Well, welcome back, friends. I'm so glad you joined us. In today's Big God Story, we're going to learn about how God blesses. We're going to hear about a story where God blesses us through others. But before we get started, let's bow our heads and pray. Father, we are so thankful that you bless us through others. We're grateful that we've been blessed through Jesus and that you made a way for us to be with you forever. I ask that you would prepare our hearts and our minds to hear from your word today. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, are you guys ready to practice our memory verse? Okay, remember, it comes from 1 John 4.14, and it goes like this. And we have seen and testify that the Father has sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. That is good news. Now let's sing it together so it'll get stuck in our heads.
Wow, you guys, I love to sing and dance, don't you? Now, let's take a look at what's in the wardrobe of wonder. Wow, I think that was a family tree. Have you ever seen a family tree before? I can't wait to see where we're gonna find this family tree in today's story. Are you guys ready? All right, let's go. We have heard how news of God's miracles spread and people in surrounding lands knew God was with his people. Years passed as the people of God settled into the promised land. After a while, a famine swept over the promised land. What's a famine? Good thinking, a famine is when there's not enough food to feed the people. Some families decided to leave the promised land and travel to another country so they would have enough to eat. A woman named Naomi moved with her family to a new land where there was plenty of food. But years later, her husband and two sons died. It was a very sad day for Naomi and her two sons' wives when they were all alone. Naomi told the young women they should return to their parents and find new husbands. But they loved Naomi and didn't want to leave. Finally, one of the young women agreed, and Naomi blessed her as she said goodbye. Naomi tried to convince Ruth to also return to her home and her parents, but she refused. Ruth told her, don't try to make me leave you. Where you go, I'll go. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. I won't let anything but death separate you from me. Naomi realized Ruth had made up her mind to stay with her. Ruth would live with Naomi and worship and serve the one true God. How do you think Naomi felt when Ruth chose to stay with her? Instead of returning to her mom and dad, Ruth chose to stay with Naomi and serve her. God was blessing Naomi through Ruth. By this time, the famine had ended in Bethlehem, where Naomi was from, so the two women packed up and went there. The entire town was excited to see Naomi and meet Ruth. They made Bethlehem their home. It was the time when the farmers gather their grain to get ready to be sold. And Ruth asked Naomi, Shall I go into the fields and gather grain for you? Naomi answered, Go ahead, my daughter. So Ruth went to a field to gather the grain dropped by the harvesters. She was in a field belonging to a man named Boaz. When Boaz heard how hard she was working to care for her mother-in-law, he told her to work only in his fields. He made sure she had a safe place to gather the grain, water, drink, water to drink, and shade to rest in. Then Boaz blessed her. He said, May the Lord reward you for what you have done, and may you receive full reward from the Lord God of Israel, under whose wings you have come for refuge. Boaz knew Ruth chose to trust and serve the Lord God. He knew she stayed with Naomi to care for her. Ruth was serving God with her life, and God was using her to bless others. Boaz invited Ruth to eat lunch with him. She had plenty to eat and even some left. When she got up to gather more grain, Boaz told his workers to leave the very best stalks of grain for Ruth to pick. At the end of the day, Ruth showed her mother-in-law what she had collected and gave her the food left from lunch. Ruth told Naomi about Boaz and his kindness. Boaz was serving God by serving others. God was using Boaz to bless Ruth and Naomi. Friends, Ruth and Boaz served and worshiped God with their lives. Ruth knew that Naomi needed someone, so she stayed with her. God used Ruth to bless Naomi. When Boaz met Ruth, he wanted to serve Ruth. God used Boaz to bless Ruth and Naomi. Time passed, and Boaz and Ruth were married. They had a son named Obed. But the story doesn't end because God's big story continues forever. God started something really big through Ruth and Boaz with their son Obed. In fact, Obed is just the first branch of it. Guys, we found our what's it from the wardrobe of wonder. We found the family tree. Like a map, it shows how people in a family are related. Let's look to see how this tree fits into the big God story. Obed grew up and had a son named Jesse. When Jesse grew up, he had a son named David, King David. David had a son named Nathan and a son named Solomon. 
When they grew up, they had children, and their children had children, until one day a boy named Joseph was born. A girl named Mary was also born. When Joseph and Mary grew up, they got married and were the earthly parents of Jesus, the promised Savior. Isn't that amazing? Jesus came from Ruth and Boaz's family. In serving him, God used Ruth to bless Naomi, her family, and then the entire world. Guys, God uses others to bless us. What an amazing story, friends. God blesses us through others. He used Ruth and Boaz to bless us because they are the family of Jesus. When Jesus came into the world, he was our promised Savior. And through him, we can know God and worship him always. It was so good to see you guys today. And I'll be here next week, and I hope I get to see you too. All right? See ya!